But I don't think you're ever going to be a complete dentist until you know how to do a well-planned, precise, occlusal adjustment of natural teeth. You got to have a game plan with any type of treatment. My game plan through the years has been, number one, what do I have to do to allow the patient to close and center? The most conservative, least defensive way I can. If you have an A and a C, you have a deflection. And it's not stable. Until such time as the slide stops and the B contact is engaged. Another classic example of the anterior component of force is an existing removable partial denture with a lingual bar. This is not a stable position. We have, in essence, an A contact here, and we have a C contact here. Now, this would move the upper tooth to the buckle, or the lower tooth to the lingual, or deflect the mandible in this direction. Until such time as that parallelogram of forces is offset by stamp cusp occluding against the stamp cusp, or the all-important B contact. Centric relation. Maximum intercuspation. So we need to understand that the teeth dictate the posture of the mandible. And I will remove the mesial most part of this mark. And I will do it in such a way that the triangular ridge to which I'm adjusting is actually moved more posteriorly. Now we're going to adjust both equalizing B contacts on the patient's upper left first and second premolars. 